Second floor, second floor. This is carpet goals. I love that, I love the sound. So, Geneva watch days. It's been an interesting couple of days. We've had masks, socially distanced. We've had 17 brands scattered around the city. It's been great to be outside, I must admit. We've seen a lot of watches. They've all been right here, and I want to talk through my top five. Starting with Bulgari's aluminium collection, the Chronograph. You know, I love the Panda dials. It says a lot to me. It's great for the millennial audience. I think we talked a lot, um, I talked a lot with John Christophe specifically about this. I love the fact that, you know, we're looking back at the inspiration from the late 90s. What wasn't good that happened in the late 90s? So I love the bracelet, you know, it's really unique to Bulgari in the sense it's got a, it's rubber with some aluminium links, so it's really quite different. And I think, you know, this is a real entry level watch for Bulgari. And I think that's really exciting, you know, for the millennial audience to really get amongst. Number two from Moza, it's gonna be a lot of people's favorites here, the Streamliner Center Seconds. For me, I spent minutes gazing into the matrix green dial. It's just absolutely beautiful. The color that you come from, comes from there, you know, I think, Green is going to be the next blue, and Moser has really very much been, been championing green for a while. Um, another thing I want to say about this is the four-word stainless steel integrated bracelet. Absolutely beautiful, like no, nothing I've seen um, this week, and I think it's just testament to Moser that they're always you know, thinking differently and taking things from a different perspective. And next up, we have uh, Eunice Nardin's Blast. Now, they would definitely have a blast with this one. I think ever since Patrick Pruneau has been CEO there at the brand since 2017, they've really dared to mix things up and change things and, and create pieces which no one's got an expression for when they first see them. It's just like, well, where do I start with this? Like, what's the, you know, what's the movement? Like, how am I looking, what am I looking at? So I haven't really seen anything like it before, to be honest. You know, you've got this sort of rectangular bridge within the dial kind of set up and it's just, slightly mind-boggling to be honest. You know, they've got, they've got four colorways, and I think my, my favorite was probably the, the blue, which was true to, I guess, the Yulis Nardin brand. The brand, it's creating pieces which are conversation starters, and people are gonna wanna know what that watch is. And next up, from GP, there was the Infinity Collection, and specifically from there, we had the uh, Loretto Infinity 42 millimeter. Now, for me, no gags on Infinity to Beyond or anything like that. I was very excited to see this piece because uh, the Loretto line is definitely one of my favorite. It's just the hallmarks of that watch. It's just so sleek, so sort of sexy, I find. And you know, it's the sports, there's a lot of S's going on here. Got S, 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 S. I loved the fact that the, the black onyx dial and a, against the rose gold markers were just, just to me, was just singing, get on my wrist and stay there forever which is going to be tough because there's only 188 um, pieces available, so you're going to have to put in a good fight for that one. And finally, Breitling's Endurance Pro. Probably the most accessible and affordable of the five that I've, I've picked. To be honest, they had me at the Strava 500 Minute Challenge. Um, you know, trust Breitling to dream up a, an idea, an incentive, an added incentive to, to want to get hold of this watch um, piece anyway. But, you know, this is a real, um, as someone myself who loves her sport and is actually training to do an Ironman, this is a real authentic watch for sport lovers to actually feel like they can wear a luxury watch on their wrists as they're competing. And um, I think it's actually inspired by um, one of their ambassadors, Jan Frededo. So that's my top five. Now I've got a plane to catch. God knows what's going on with these quarantine laws so back to the UK, so I'm, I'm out of here. Taxi? Taxi? Okay,